What's up everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jeff. My name is Jeff. And in today's video I'm really excited to share with you one of my favorite thing on the Line 6 Helix, which is the drop tune. So the drop tune has been an actual game changer as a guitarist because it allows me to change a lot of tunings on the same guitar and being more uh, inspired if I need to create a new song or if I want to make a cover or if I want to learn a new song in different genre. So before we get started, make sure to destroy the like button. And now let me show you what I'm talking about just right now. All right, so welcome to the computer. So we're on the Helix Edit. So this is where you can basically do all of your presets, such as clean and whatever. So on the left hand side here, you've got all the presets and here you've got the actual um, interface. And this is actually my preset right now. So I'm on the on my rhythm channel and it sounds like. There we go. Maybe a little bit. So this is my rhythm channel and basically what uh, what I noticed is, for example, I love, well, any kind of genre. So I can go from jazz to actual gent and sometimes I need to get a really, really low tuning. But hey, I'm not a millionaire. I can't buy a guitar for every tuning. So one day I figured what, what would be the best solution to get any tuning on one guitar. Because first of all, I love my guitars and I don't want to have like 12,000 guitars in my room because first it takes a lot of space and second, I don't have the money for it. So the perfect solution that I found is basically I've got my rhythm channel here. What, uh, what I did is I just added a simple pitch here so you go to pitch uh, slash synth and you've got pitch pitch uh, pitch one so it's the whammy twin harmony so it's uh, two different ha harmonies that you can do it's actually great for solos and here we've got the simple pitch what I like to do is for example going into drop D so just like this If I need to go really low, for example, I don't know, in a drop C, I just click here and you can, as you can see here, we've got the interval, so it goes by semitone. We are on the, at the zero. And now let's say, for example, I want to get a D flat, drop D flat or a drop C sharp. Or even a drop C. And now if I want to go even lower, I can, for example, have a drop A. And this is an actual game changer because right now, for example, if I, if you want to compose a song on the seven, eight or even nine string, you can literally just do everything on the six string and just use this uh, simple pitch to drop to your guitar. And as you can hear, the quality is really, really good. In my opinion, I think it sounds really good. And I discovered the power of uh, drop tuning through the band called Love and Death. So if you don't know about this band, it's a band with uh, head from Korn and uh, he's actually the the singer in this band but um about like seven eight years ago I saw this video from the guitarist JR and uh, he was basically using a drop G sharp on the on his six string guitar I remember he used to get the PRS or something maybe he's still using PRS I have no idea and I was like how can you get this this tuning on this guitar like on the six string i know you can do it but you need to get like an insane neck like a carbon neck on the vg for example that's not gonna be a problem you know but i i don't want to to use like i don't want to change my neck just for a single tuning and i checked on his pedal board and he's he's actually using a whammy dt so the drop tune so he he's using the actual whammy dt tuning with the the whammy in the, in, the, in between but uh, i got this digitech drop tune dt just as simple as that for i think i paid for maybe 
a hundred dollars or something maybe a little bit more than that it's been years now this pedal has literally changed my life but with the helix i figured for example on stage I, I like to be minimalist on stage the less i have the better because you never know what can happen or you know if you just go to from a venue to another it's so annoying when you've got already two guitars plus a pedal board and i was like can i find a solution on the on the helix and this one literally literally changed my life because for example with my band magnitude 10 i'm using a drop c drop a and i think i'm even going on the drop g create different new presets here for different tunings or different sounds and you don't even need to change anything you just switch on the pedal but for example here But the quality is so good and if you want to create a song in any tuning you can and you can even go lower than that like like we're on the drop G right now or drop G sharp right now. And it sounds fine, I mean, if you want to create songs, you can. And now let's do, for example, a drop, double drop D. Oh, so that's a regular drop D, actually. Yeah, I know what, what, what you might say. Maybe it sounds like disgusting or two chemicals or something, but have you ever tried a double drop D on a real guitar? This does the job. <laughs> so if you want to record anything on double drop D, that's possible. The only bad thing, which you, you can get used to it, and I'm gonna try to hide it during the video, is basically you can get the sound of the strings. And when you have a regular tuning, it could it's a little bit annoying. So I found a really good way to, um, to hide this thing. What you can do, just use a regular headphones and put it a little bit more just put a little bit more volume as usual and you will see the um, you, you won't hear it that much uh, unless you're going to the to the high string well, let, let's take another tuning so let's take for example this This is just the only bad point, but other than that, the drop tune has been a literally game changer as a guitarist. And I hope this video helped you out to... I don't know if you have a song that you want to play in double drop E or double drop D or double drop C, whatever. You can use this tool and this is absolutely amazing. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Make sure to destroy the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And let me know in the comment section if you ever used um a drop tune i really want to your opinion about this because as i just said thousand times already in this video it literally changed my life so let me know what you think and i see you on the next video bye bye